Now, because of those protests, Youngstown Mayor Tito Brown placed a curfew on the city. It went into effect at 830 last night and is still into effect as we speak. First News reporter Brooke Minahan is live in Youngstown now with more on what you can expect this morning. Brooke. Yeah, good morning, Chelsea. We're downtown right now, and as you can see, it's a completely different scene down here. Pretty calm compared to yesterday, which there were peaceful protests for the most part. Now, the um, curfew that Mayor Tito Brown put into effect went into effect 8.30 last night. Police were giving people about a half an hour to break things up. If they didn't, then arrests were starting to be made. Now, that is a 12-hour curfew. It lasts until 8.30 this morning. No one is really allowed in the downtown area. Police are asking people to avoid downtown if you need to. However, we're told people are allowed to go into work. People just cannot loiter in the area. Like I said, it's pretty calm. I have seen a good amount of Youngstown police patrolling the area, um, seen a few people out, haven't seen anybody stopped or anything like that. However, anyone who does not comply with the curfew order could face charges. For now, reporting live in downtown Youngstown, Brooke Meanahan, First News this morning.